Up the river. Look at that, eh? It's trout in that, trout in that river. So that's my bit too crusty. <laughs> That's Manuel, he's French. Oh. Spooked. Spooked another one. Can't be bothered pumping my raft up again. I'm just gonna wing it. That, I'm paddling across. Just use it as a seat when I get to camp. Almost to camp. Seven or eight K later. What a sweet camp setup. Still got dry boots. Awesome. Whew. A little bit knackered after that. Too much jet boat and not enough walking. Tell us exactly what's going on with the seat, Sam. How it doesn't look that ergonomic, is it very comfortable? Oh, that's how it works. Oh, that makes more sense. How's the dinner? They're really good, these ones. It's got real chicken in it. Why, well, has it real pretend chicken? That's no, real. It's actually real chicken. Well, way toastier, right? Eh? That's it. You definitely got it, didn't you? We just checked the footage and pretty sure it lurched. You don't asshole at first. Uh, some people do, some people don't. Now Sam's manhandling the heart out and the lungs all in one hit. Did you even cut its throat or did you just rip that out? Just rip it out. Mate. Makata, Makata, Makata. Poutine, poutine. <laughs> <laughs> nah, poutine's this disgusting cheesy shit that they put on their chips over there in Canada. The French Canadians. Perfect. Perfect, look at that. Perfect. Man, you got mungle thumbs, eh? Look at um, that finger that broke. Thank you. Mm. Good? Yeah. Oh, so good. Oh. Since one week I just hit uh, pasta in you know, like this.
bloody rat's been chewing on me toothbrush. Bloody rats. Bloody 1080. Morning. Morning. Nice work on the fire, Sam. Inside's wet, the outside's dry. Ah, my tent stayed dry inside and outside. Oh. I, Chinese, man, I can't believe it's lasted as long as it has. I don't think it would handle up in the Alpine environment, but then again, these MSRs aren't that great in the wind either. Maybe the new ones are. I don't know. I have seen a few videos of these things shitting out, though, in our Alpine environment, which is not good. This is one area that 1080 seems to be working, doesn't it? There's birds. There's birds. There's, bir there's not a lot of birds up here, but there, I did hear birds this morning. There are birds here, and we did hear a couple of bowbirds walking in yesterday, so 1080 is working in this area. I don't know why. Some areas it works, some areas it doesn't, but having said that, I rat chewed my bloody toothbrush this morning. Uh, there's still rats up here, and possums and deer. So maybe, maybe the 1080 isn't working up here and that's why there's so many birds and deer and possums and rats because when they lay the 1080 it rains and it doesn't cause the rat plagues. I don't know. I don't bloody know. I'll take that back. This little beauty from Victory Knives is one of my new favorite knives. Cheap as chips, super lightweight, very small. It's not a full tang, it's a hidden tang, so I don't know how long it'll last, but the little missions like this, where weight is of importance, such a great knife. Holds an edge really well, easy to sharpen. It's not super stiff, so it's not great for bushcraft, but you can still whittle a stick with it, gut it there, and cut up your liver and heart to fry on the fire. So, yeah, it's bloody good. It's the Victory 3 30310 mean as Silhouette Silhouette Salewa 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 Sounds right Salewa Salewa Sounded weird They're no, good They've got stones in the um, between the lining and the um... That was kind of a positive before the negative They're good but they get stuck That's the only fault You can only fault them one fault They're really light and Super they're lightweight. awesome when they're wet. Sam rates them though. How long you had them for? Uh, maybe a year. Yeah. Chunky nose, I never know. Sam rates them. If Sam rates them, they're bloody good. <laughs> you got a cup? <laughs> That's Frenchie's cup. Yeah, but... I'm going to put this here through that there, so this... The, the amount of times I've been asked if I've seen a fly rod, like some of the rivers we go to. Just the other day, actually, someone asked me if I'd seen a fly rod in a case, because they fall out of your packs, so you lose the damn things, and then you don't find them. Or by the time you get out and realise your fly rod's gone, you're too buggered to walk back up and get it. I found one years ago floating in the Buller River, floating around the Big Eddie. Use it in the tube, and then it sticks and it doesn't slide out. Punching up semi-professional. Oh, nice. Yeah. Plan, plan for today. We're going fishing. Fishing, and then hopefully Manuel will shoot his first deer tonight. We're going to move camp first. We're going to move camp a couple of kilometers upstream because we're going to be fishing about four, five K upstream today. And we just don't want to come all the way back here tonight so we're going to maybe two and a half three k it will reset dump all our stuff and then cruise up fishing for the day river's good it's just come down from a big flood it's still running high but it's good we can see now it's not going to be as windy today as it was yesterday so it's a good chance we'll see a lot more fish we didn't really fish yesterday we just boosted up here 
Saw two, had a crack. No joy. I hate wet boots, but I'm just going to get them wet now and then put my Gore-Tex socks on later and have dry feet for the rest of the day. We're going to split up, so we're going to cover more ground if we split. Now me and Sam are going on one side, and then Manuel is going on the other side. That way we shouldn't miss too many fish. What have we got Sam? It's going to whack on a wee goddard, there's a wee fish. Nice fish. Rat was right on top of him. Just a little tiny, small bead. Uh, it turns out Sam Spook got on his first cast and then the fish took off and what we were looking at for the rest of the time was just the bloody rock. It was my fault because I kept saying it's definitely the fish. I can see its fins. Look it just moved and then it looked like it was turning in the sun and glowing deep golden, goldeny colour but geez we just spent half an hour trying to catch a rock. Oh well. Onwards and upwards. What you got? Another fish? Another fish. I got this fish. There he is, just sitting there, still feeding. Oh! Oh, yep! Yep, go, yep, yeah boy! <laughs> Look at this hump! You ready for it? Yeah, really, man. Sure. <laughs> yeah. What's he up to? Tutuing around. He's putting a couple different flies on, some strange configurations I've never seen before. A blow fly and uh, some kind of weird little black nymphy thing. Is there a fish in there, mate? Oh, he's big. Oh, yeah, he's real big. Another stonking fish sitting right there. I catch all my fish in New Zealand with this. No. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I just dropped it. Did you actually Nah, I didn't. That's right here. Ah. <laughs> the only it's one my you... own. <laughs> it's the only one. <laughs> just one. <laughs> got him. Got him. The good one. Without, without Bob. Oh no, Bob. Yeah. Oh, no Bob. look at that, eh? He's going. Be challenging. This is a big fish too, it's probably going to be another trophy. Bloody hell, after changing patterns seven times, he still doesn't want it, so we're going to try. See if we can find another one. <laughs> Sam's got another stonker over there. The fish is still here? Uh, I think so, yep. Sir, your net. Oh, ouch. He's got mouse butt. <laughs> nine and, just over nine and three quarters. Another one, just a touch under ten. One more mouse and he would have been ten. <laughs> Bloody hell, we should have come out here earlier. Before he shat the last one out. Quick before I dong him on the head and eat him. 
so fat, there's such good condition. We just need a big one now, big 12, 13 pounder. Cheer, bro! <laughs> good crust. <laughs> Crusty as. So good, Sam's homemade sourdough. We're gonna dump all our stuff here. This is where we're camping. Um, we'll keep fishing up the river today and take a small backpack of stuff, take the rifle with us in case we come back, take a bit of food, billy, cup of tea. Alright, up the river. Um. fish in this pool, one just down here, Manu's going to have a crack at, and then another one slightly upstream. I just caught one over there, just a touch over nine pounds. Sam wouldn't let me dong it on ahead. It was too big anyway. We never would have eaten it all. So hopefully we'll catch a little small one and we can have them for lunch. But I don't think that's going to happen because we just seem to be catching big fish all day, consistently. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's still there. Big as the fish. Yeah, bro, he took that. Bad luck, eh? Well, he took it. Fish took the took the bloody lure, but uh, no catch. And then it spooked. Sam's just having a crack at this one. Uh, oh, little too oh. short. Little too short, I think. Go long, bro. Go long. Turn and had a look at the dry, and he followed it, followed it about two inches behind it, and then he uh, didn't want it. A little bit frustrating when they do that. Fish Sam. Lunchtime. Ah, <laughs> uh, cup of tea just recharges the batteries. Don't know what it is, but it just seems to Give me a perk anyway. How about you fellas? What's your poison mid-afternoon? Here we go, fish number five or six. Oh nice, nice. Oh he's gonna take it off the surface. Oh he looked at it, he didn't want it. Oh, he's looking at it. He doesn't eat it. 
Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, he didn't want it. Oh, how frustrating. Sam's legs are going to scare him away. You want or on? Just one. Well, I'm just choosing something nice and sits just below this surface film. Got a good post on it. Nah. Yeah. Oh, ah, oh, he didn't want it. He looked at it. <laughs> he rose, eh? He came up and he looked at it and went, yeah, nah. Still here? Frenchy steps up to the plate with a, a French dry fly. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's a small dry fly. Ah, it's the favorite. Yeah. The French favorite coming right up. All right, show him how it's done, Frenchy. Show him how it's done, mate. Fuck it up. Oh, I can't even see the fly. Can you see it? Yeah. Didn't want it. Didn't like that one. Blim my neck. Whopping oh, thing there. Where is he dreaming? Holy shit. There we go. Spooked him. Nah, it's gone. Ale, ale. Oh, have you got a nymph on? Oh, he's going to see you. Spooked. Now the fish, this one's feeding really well too. Sam's going to try to put a dry over the top of him and see if he'll take that. Oh nice, surely he's going to take it. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> yeah! The dry fly is the best. <laughs> Smallest one of the day, maybe. No way. big day I got to hear I actually I got to just by back there and then I lit a fire and then I got to hear and then I lit another fire and had another cup of tea and then I didn't move for three hours I just sat in the shade stretching and I had a little bit of a snooze and then the boys came back they caught another fish hooked three landed one 11 pounds how big was it 11 11 <laughs> ah. bye bye trophy Happy? <laughs> yeah. We're a bit knackered but we're going to wait till dark and then go hunting 
Manual's not though. Give us a wave, Manual. Yeah, I'll go. Say bye bye. Bye. Thank you very much. See, See you. See you later. Good time. Yeah. Manual's too rooted to go hunting. We've worked him. What did we have? A 10k walk yesterday and then a 5, 6k walk today. And then it's about 3k's back to where our tent is. And then Manuel's got a big long walk out tomorrow and <laughs> hopefully me and Sam are pack rafting. That's the plan anyway. So now we've just got to wait an hour and a half for it to get dark and we're going to slowly walk back to the camp, shoot a couple of yearlings, go to bed. What? It looked like I had a poo stance crossing, it's just a chafing. <laughs> Sam's butt cheeks are chafing. Some of these, they're Gore-Tex socks. So I forgot I had them in my pack actually, but I do have them in my pack. Thanks, Bodie Hill. Bodie Hill gave these to me about three years ago. They sat on the shelf for two years, never used them, and then I one day I thought to myself, hey, why don't I pull out these Gore-Tex socks and take them with me? And they're great. If you cross a river, you just take your Gore-Tex socks and your dry socks off, wear your boots across and bare feet, get out, put your dry socks and your Gore-Tex socks back on, and you've got dry feet all day. And if it's pissing down with rain, you just take a spare change of dry socks and then change them out once they get a bit damp and they're so good they go up to about knee height you can cross creeks that are knee height without having to take your boots off and still keep your feet dry they're really really good i'm not too sure where to buy them sorry army surplus used to sell them but they don't anymore i think there's an army surplus outfit in england that sell them i'm going to get hold of army and outdoors nz or kiwi disposals and see if they can get a hold of some of these because they're so good so good time we're a bit early but we got three and a half k back to camp so we're just going to slowly mosey around the corner mean i get to shoot a deer tonight stoked love shooting deer don't mind carrying them out so much anymore but i like shooting the bastards we've only got a couple of k back to camp and then we can pack craft the meat out easy peasy Awesome. I knew Sam wouldn't have been able to resist smoking another one. Whoa, crazy. Man, we put it out some misery. Chose, yeah. chose the right one. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even tell when it was walking that it had a broken leg. Where's my one? Way back over there, is it? I can't bloody tell. Somewhere over there. Nice couple of small yearlings. It's a shame we're so far from camp and carry the whole damn things out. Oh, there it is.
over at night. It's so good, it's super light. Stay sharp. I've been whittling sticks all day. Second deer it's cut up, just carving like a knife through deer. There's three more yearlings just out in the grass over there. Flavour tonight, bro. Chili con carne. I'm going with the old time. I'm going to stew. So tasty, isn't it? This wilderness stew is just chock a block. Look how much is in there. Man. Jesus, that's a hearty breakfast. <laughs> I'm gonna have cigarettes and coffee, but without the cigarettes. Also without the coffee. Sand blows. Right, we're gonna pack up. Get on out of here. Just trying to think what other different camera shots I can get <laughs> to make it more interesting for you guys because I oh, yeah, the pack up camp shot. Oh, he's putting the tent in the bag. And he's shaking the tent. Shake it to me. Bit more tent shaking. That's enough tent shake. Oh wait, I've got to shake the fly as well. Outstanding tent shake there. <laughs> Outstanding. Cheer, bro! Thank you very much. Sir. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you too. So it's it's my best money, trip ever. Fun? Yeah. Yeah, it's so crazy good. There we go, thank straight from the horse's mouth. Yeah, thank you for all and thank you New Zealand. It's the best place ever. I'm supposed to say this is the best fishing trip I've ever had. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Oh, I don't understand Holland. Uh, is that crazy because uh, it's the best? Or is it mean? It's it definitely the most consistent big fish day I've had yesterday it was crazy anyway Munyal's got to go because we're about to raft down and ruin the fishing so he's yeah, going to so run downstream to the pool <laughs> see you bro au revoir thank you Riga see you i show you on the river poor bastard he's got like a 20k walk out now <laughs> it's going to take him all day to walk 20k it might even be like 25k we're a bloody long way up and then not, not only when he finishes the walk, then he's got to go across this real dodgy swing bridge that he was shitting his pants in. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to cross the bridge. I should have got footage of it, but we didn't have time when we walked in. We just booted up the river, so that's going to be good. We're going to be well home and dry by the time he gets to the swing bridge and shits his pants. I'll bet he end up swimming across the river. Show you a cool track. Put the um the, the, the bag you use for blowing up the rafts, like a dry bag. Stick the barrel through the the blow up nozzle. Yeah. And then you just wrap it around it. Wow! Look at that. And you've got a gun dry-ish bag. Dry-ish. <laughs> On your pack raft. This pack raft's way better than mine. This is the Mark III model. I got the test model. It's still going though.
put your backpack on upside down on the pack raft, you can put your raft up and your backpack in one hit to portage around rapids or carry it around. Yes, it's heavy, a lot of weight in that pack. Sam's gonna have even more because he's got another deer to bone out down the river there. And then I've got to pick up my paddle at camp that I left at the last camp. That's all, I've got hand paddles. See you at the deer. See you at the deer, bro. So glad we don't have to walk out. It's a hell of a walk. Just float on down. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, that shape of that knife. So good, eh? So satisfying when it's peeling that skin off. Rude, isn't it? Hey! <laughs> uh. Hey! Uh. Hey! <laughs> hey! Uh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> We've actually never tried this method of coming in from the back and the top. It seems to be working quite good. Sam asked me, have you ever come in from the back and the top? And I said, nah mate, it's not really my kind of thing. But he's giving it a crack and it's going pretty smooth actually. Come down there. Oh, oh look at that. Good skills, bro. That silver side goes quite a way down to here. Look at that. Put it backwards boning. Actually makes it better having the heavy, heavy at the front. Bit of weight there, eh? Look at how high and it pushes me up, and it distributes the weight really nicely. Be good for busting holes too. Uh, yeah, it feels like I got more control. Hey, thanks for watching, fellas and fellas. I hope you enjoyed that vlog. Holy shit, did we catch some big fish. We hooked 12, 13 fish, landed eight, lost a few, all of them around the 10 pound mark, just over, just under. I think our smallest was seven and a half pound, or just under eight pound, and the biggest was 11 and a half pound, and we lost some even bigger ones. What an epic week. So I really want to thank you for your contributions. Thank you for funding the lavish lifestyle that I live and enabling me to feed my family and having money to burn to put gas in my boats and gas in the truck and all the other expenses that's come with this camera gear and all the rest of that crap thank you very much and also I want to thank you for your patience sometimes I don't manage to crank out a vlog every week there's a lot of behind the scenes work that goes on I've got a couple of other businesses going I've got the rafting business and I've got the discovery channel thing and I've just picked up some team building with Chevrolet over in China so I'm going back to China for a week soon and hopefully that'll become a regular gig Yes, that'll be fantastic. So keep your fellas eyes peeled for exciting stuff in the future. My goal is to get twice as many patrons and then I'll be able to hire my friends and actually pay them money, hire a cameraman and a sound guy and travel all over the country and do hunting and fishing videos, motivational videos, keep the family vlogs going, but make them bigger and better. And that I'll get there. I'm still only halfway to my goal, my monetary goal. It keeps it in the bar higher and higher for some reason. So thanks for your patience. If I don't pump out a vlog every Tuesday, just cut me a little bit of slack and hang out for the next Tuesday. Oh, I'm going to get Kristen a GoPro. She's going to do a bit of content for me behind the scenes as well to help me keep these vlogs going. Um, and she's just such a lovely woman and so awesome on camera. And I think you guys appreciate watching her and 
what she gets up to behind the scenes. She does so much work around the home and garden. I'm pretty lucky to have her because it means when I get home at the end of the day, if I'm absolutely exhausted after an expedition, she can cook me dinner, I can sit on the couch and just be exhausted. Yes, I'm a little bit exhausted now actually. 3.30 in the afternoon, I'm knocking off for the day. Cheers team, I'll catch up next Tuesday. I'm not too sure what the next Tuesday is going to bring, but it is going to be exciting. Yes, cue that dramatic music with the drums and stuff in the background and you fellas like that one, eh? Bit of whistling at the end, stuff like that. I'm trying to mix it up, it's really hard for me to keep these productions varied and creative. It's just, you know, the same old stuff, old camping and fishing and eating and whatnot, but uh, yeah, I'll do my best to keep them cranking for you guys and any suggestions you have, just throw them at me, comment under here, anything you'd like to see me do or places you'd like me to visit, I may not do it, I've said this before and people chucking their 10 cents worth and I don't end up doing it, but keep them coming. I've got a lot on my plate, it's hard for me to remember stuff and give me a like and a comment, I really appreciate those likes and comments and suggestions and all the rest of it and please, if you see me fishing or hunting in your favourite spot, forgive me, I try to keep it as incon incognito is that the word I'm looking for I try not to give away spots I try not to have landmarks or all the rest of it in there so occasionally I'll cock it up and people will guess where it is so I apologize for that I'll work on that a little bit harder to keep these locations secret because I know you other fishermen you other fishing guides out there this is your bread and butter and I don't want to piss anyone off having said that though I still got to get to these places to catch the big fish and shoot the deer and the massive tar and the chamois so I'm just going to keep cranking into it hopefully not upset too many people and have a good time you guys have a good time to enjoy your Christmas appreciate what you've got and just be awesome alright that's it over and out tally ho cheers